Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to be exploring Vault 81. But before we do, let's go ahead and put a couple of levels in. I did get another level off screen while I was building up Sanctuary. So now I have two levels to put in. Let's go ahead and do that now. We're going to put them into... I uh, can't do gun nut, so we'll put two into armor. And Cricket is here. I did already talk to her, but I'm going to talk to her again for everybody. Hey, at least it's honest work. Everyone wants a piece of what I got. Hey, Cricket. So many guns and so little time. You just got to buy them. What kind of stuff do you have? If it can chamber cock and spit out lead, then I sell it. I sell slashers and clobberers, too, for those maniacs that like it up close. But a uh, death flying faster than the speed of sound? Oh, my knees are getting weak just from thinking about it. Not now. Ah, uh, don't leave. We were just having fun. Make a move and I'll end you, Wastelander. Okay, let's go ahead and go inside Vault 81. Okay, before we go and interact with the vault door, I want to let everybody know if you have a companion on, send them to whatever settlement you're building up or whatever settlement you want to send them to, but do not have a companion when you're in vault 81, at least while you're doing the quest that we're going to be doing called a hole in the wall. The reason why is because we're going to be fighting mole rats and if they hit you or your companion, you're going to get a disease that's going to give you a debuff to your health. Now, it will only be negative 10 hit points to your health, but I would rather not get the debuff because a mole rat hit my companion. And yeah, so if you don't want that debuff and you want to try to get through the area without being hit, which you got to get through the area without getting hit to not get the debuff. If you get hit even once, it's going to give you that debuff. I just wanted to get that out of the way real quick. Let's go ahead and interact with the vault door controls. Hold it right there. Vault 81 security. I don't know where you got your hands on a working pit boy, but you better start talking. I got it in Vault 111. Vault 111? Haven't heard of that one yet. And what sort of business are you looking to take care of here in 81? I'm just a traveler. I thought I'd take a look around. Is that so? And you expect me to believe that? Oh, Overseer. Who is it, Edwards? Ma'am, some new Commonwealth traveler. Not one of our usual traders. Well, if someone wants in, they can earn it like everyone else. Let me speak to them. Sorry about that. Officer Edwards here was just doing his job. I'm sure you can understand our need for caution. For newcomers, we like to operate on exchange. You help us, we help you. Okay, so if you have a high enough charisma, you can bypass having to get the Volt 3 fusion cores. If you don't have high charisma, then you're going to have to get the fusion cores for them. Uh, you probably have enough right now, just in case. But just wanted to throw that out there before anybody makes a decision. Let's go ahead and try to uh, use the charisma check real quick. But I'm a fellow Vault dweller. Can't you just let me in? Excuse me, ma'am. Before you arrived, he did say he was from Vault 111. And he's in possession of a working pit boy. Is that so? I'm going to allow it. Edwards, open the door and make the announcement. 
Officer Edwards and I will meet you at the entrance. Come on, Gwen. My guys have been working doubles for weeks now. They need a break. Everyone's working hard right now, Cal. You think I don't know that? Just do the best with what you can. That's all I'm asking. Fine. I'll see what I can do. But you and I both know we can't keep going on like this. Sorry about that. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. Gwen McNamara, Overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. We've never encountered a fellow Vault Dweller. Is this Vault 111 you mentioned still operational? No. Not anymore. I'm sorry to hear that. What happened there? Did something go wrong? They had us cryogenically frozen in these pods, but something malfunctioned. Oh my god. All those lives lost due to some malfunction? That's unacceptable. I suppose we've been lucky. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient. But there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. I'm impressed you maintained a successful vault for so long. Thanks. I owe it to the overseers before me, but some here would disagree. A few believe opening the doors to the Commonwealth was a mistake. Interaction is a good thing. The Commonwealth is improving. So I've heard. But it's still got a long ways to go. Now, I have work to do. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. Turn off that radio real quick. I don't no want to hear radiation. any negative reports about Press you, it. outsider. You're that Commonwealth traveler, aren't you? Hey, Ashes. I heard we had a here? traitor in today. Ashes, where are you going? Ash! Damn it. Karen's not going to like this. Katie Penn is the teacher here in 81. You should stop by her class. She's big on learning from Everything's outsiders. under control. Take the elevator down to Vault 81 itself. And then we're going to take a tour of it. Hey, mister. Are you really from the Commonwealth? Yes, I am. I knew it! Hey, I can show you around the vault if you want. Just five caps. Okay. Give me the tour, Austin. Here's the caps. Yes! I gotta show you to Erin. She's gonna flip. Follow me. We'll start over here. This is the depot. The Combs family run it. Aaron and I are best friends. Her mom and dad fight a lot, so I don't like to go in there when they're around. But if you need something, they're the ones that have it. What do they fight about? I shouldn't tell you this, but everyone says Mr. Combs is sleeping with Tina. Mrs. Combs doesn't know, but he's always leaving her to do all the work while he hangs out with Tina. Next up, the Overseer. I bet you killed a lot of strange things. Ooh, and Raiders. I bet you fought Raiders, too. The Overseer's office is up there. They're busy up there, and they do not like to be bothered. She makes rules, but she's nice. I like her. Does she take care of people that break the rules? Security mostly takes care of the people who break the rules, but she's in charge of all of the security officers. It doesn't happen very often. Next stop, the diner. Now we gotta go downstairs. That's where the diner is. Everybody eats there. Sometimes it gets real crowded. The summer sets are nice though. You'll like them. Hello, Austin. 
I see you're showing our guest from the Commonwealth around. Yes, ma'am. This is the Sunshine Diner. Gran says that they'll take all of our hard work and turn it into swill. Mr. and Mrs. Somerset run the diner. They're pretty nice. Mrs. Somerset's pies are the best. How's their food? Other than the pies. I like it. Mrs. Somerset always sneaks me seconds. I'll save you a slice of pie, Austin. Next stop, Horatio. I told you they were nice. Do you like your hair? I like mine. I hate combing it, though. Gran makes me comb it. Austin, that hair of yours is a mole rat's nest. <laughs> this is where Horatio fixes up people's hair. Aaron's mom comes here all the time. Gran hardly comes here at all. She makes me cut my hair, though. It's not fair. What do you do, my hair? Sure. He can turn your hair into anything. I wanted him to make mine look like Skull, but Gran wouldn't let him. Next stop is Gran. Let's go see Gran. I live with her. She's not my real grandmother, though. My parents died when I was real little. Hi, Gran. Austin, what are you doing here? Are you bothering that stranger from the Commonwealth? I'm not bothering him. I'm helping him. Hmm. That's Gran. She takes care of me. You can call her Dr. Pensky. She acts a little grumpy. That's not for real. Says you. She runs our hydroponics lab. It's where we get all our food. You don't get anything from the Commonwealth? Nope. Gran grows it all year. She's really smart. <laughs> Next stop, Miss Katie. Come on, hurry up. We gotta go to the other side of the vault. I'll show you where I go to school. I bet you didn't have to go to school. This is the school. Miss Katie runs it. It's boring most of the time. But Gran says I have to go anyway. Your Gran is a smart woman, Austin. Are there a lot of kids in the vault? Not that many. The overseer says that we're using population control. Whatever that is. Next stop is the medical clinic. Let's go downstairs. I'll show you the clinic. Doc Forsyth and Rachel are okay, I guess. But I don't go there unless I have to. Or unless Gran makes me. Man, it was being really glitchy there for a minute. This is our medical clinic. If you get hurt or sick, you come down here. Dr. Forsyth says I can't bother him or Rachel while they're working. Did you ever get sick? Just colds and stuff. Hardly anyone here gets sick. Mr. Somerset broke his foot once, though. They put a big cast on it. And he had to walk with crutches. Now we go see Erin. She's gonna be surprised when she sees you. Come on, this way. Erin and I spend a lot of time together. She didn't believe me when I said I would bring you to her. Look who I found! The stranger from the Commonwealth! Wow. You're really from the Commonwealth? Yes, I am. Whoa. Someone from the Commonwealth! That's so cool! We haven't had a visitor in a while now. Thanks for doing my tour! I was so cool to show you off to everyone. I'm heading out. Don't wait up for me. Let's talk to Aaron real quick. Excuse me, mister. Have you seen my cat? I think he's left the vault. I saw him run by me when I got here. Left the vault? Oh, please bring him back. Please. No one else would set foot outside for him. 
I'll find him for you. Thank you. His name is Ashes. He's the sweetest little gray cat. I just want him to come home. Okay, we'll have to do that in just a moment. Your pit boy ever act up on you? But first, let's go over to the classroom. We're going to talk to Miss Katie. Oh, you're that new traveler. You must have had so many adventures out in the Commonwealth. Every waking moment's an adventure out there. Oh my, I knew it. My kids would love to hear some of them. Would you be willing to talk to my class? I'd be glad to talk to them. Marvelous. Stop by whenever class is in session. I'll just stop what I'm doing and turn the class over to you. Katie. Would you like to tell the students one of your stories now? I'd be glad to. Wonderful. The kids are so excited. Children, children, listen up. We have a guest today who is going to tell us stories about the Commonwealth. Did you ever fight a death claw? One of the Minutemen helped me kill one once. Cool. What happened? A group of raiders had my friend Preston trapped. But you rescued him, right? Preston showed me where to find some power armor I could fix. Power armor! Wow. I wasn't ready when the Death Claw crawled out. Good thing I had that power armor. That sounds scary. Preston and I kept shooting until it was dead. I bet that took lots of bullets. Thank you so much for that story. Children, say thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And we have a thank you gift for you. Here. So if we're telling the kids the story, we can go ahead and get ourselves a Grognak the Barbarian comic book. Whoever's playing a melee build, they're doing very well at this point. Please bring him back safe. I will, Aaron. Let's go down to the clinic. Welcome, welcome. I hope I'm not being presumptuous, but I'd like to ask you a favor. Would you mind donating some medical samples, even just a blood sample? Sure, you can have some blood. Excellent. Just have a seat, and I'll draw some blood. Sit there. This will only take a sec. There. Hardly hurt a bit, eh? Thank you. This will be a great help. Now, I need to get these prepared immediately. Okay, that should be good there. Now let's go find Aaron's cat. Now, where did I put those screws? Seeds. I need more seeds. Also, over here, if you're wanting a Must pretty decent uh, assault there. rifle, no, combat rifle, not assault rifle, she'll sell you a pretty decent combat rifle. It'll shoot an extra projectile. Let's go ahead and use the elevator. She's also got some pretty decent combat armor as well, but I'm not really worried about that right now. Maybe I'll get it later. But I like to use sturdy combat armor. Dr. Penske runs a hydroponics lab here. She may have some work for you if you're interested. Nice pip boy. If it ever starts acting up on you, see Alexis. She'll fix it right up. Looking for a meal? See Let's go ahead and exit Alexis Vault 81. Pull out our 10 millimeter pistol. I'm going to go down the road here, and that path off to the right is where we're heading. I'm 
We want to be really careful. There's a ton of ghouls over here. See if I can make it all the way over there. I cannot. That should be all of them. Now we're going to hear some really weird dialogue. I have no clue why the voice actor worded the dialogue like this. And like, it's just such a weird tone. You'll see. Ashes, go home. Aaron misses you. <laughs> it's so fucking weird. It makes me laugh every time I hear that shit. Sounds like uh, William Shatner in a way. Just a really weird tone. Go back into Vault 81. Don't try anything. You should stop by and see Horatio while you're here. I can't imagine you come across many horrors in the Commonwealth. We're gonna go down here real quick and talk to Horatio. Sorry about the maintenance. It never ends these days. Word is Overseer and Forsyth are looking for you. Maybe you want a quick trim before getting down to business? The Overseer and Forsyth, what do they want? Austin's real sick. They think you'll be able to help out with the cure. And I think if you're going to do something, do it in style, right? So, how about that trim? Excellent. Grab the taboo tattoos. She's looking pretty bad in there. I'm going to go in here and talk to Aaron. Austin got himself bit by a mole rat, so now they got us cooped up in here to watch Aaron. It's ridiculous. Ashes! You found him! Thanks, mister. I was so worried about him. You're welcome. I'm so glad he's safe. Ashes! Bad kitty. Keep walking I'm outside. So worried about you. Just because you wear and a vault suit doesn't mean you're one of us. You need a doctor, Forsyth and Rachel are down in the medical center. They can patch I'm gonna go downstairs. We keep the vaults safe. But I'm just happy you're back. Hi, how are you? You have to do something, Jacob. I'm running the test as fast as I can, Priscilla. I can't treat Austin until I know what he's infected with. Dr. Forsyth. Not now, Bobby. And you, stranger, will have to wait your turn. We have an emergency here. Austin got bitten by a mole rat. Isn't that enough, Jacob? There can't be that many mole rat diseases or toxins. Rachel is examining the mole rat. Hopefully she'll find something. But these aren't ordinary mole rats. Who knows what kind of diseases they are carrying. Because he's just a child, it's affecting him more severely. Dr. Forsythe, please. I think I found something that might help Austin. Bobby! Hold on, Priscilla. What is it, Bobby? Well, you know that door Austin found? He found it because of me. I keep my private things in there. 
He saw me get them. You mean your chems? Get to the point, Bobby. What did you find in that place? It's like a whole extra vault in there, but half ruined and caved in. There was this terminal there, so I started poking around in it. There were some notes and stuff about using mole rats to grow viruses. But they also said that they used them to make vaccines and treatments. A secret vault? Good lord, I've never heard of such a thing. Bobby, you're a genius. A junkie genius. There might be a cure for whatever Austin got from that mole rat somewhere in that place. You there. How would you like to do Vault 81 a favor and possibly save my boy's life? I would be glad to help. I was hoping I could count on you. Bobby here will show you where he keeps his secret stash. There is a chance that somewhere in there is a cure for Austin. If you find it, bring it to Dr. Forsyth. And for Austin's sake, please hurry. Follow me. Careful of the mole rats down there. They infected Austin. They could infect you as well. Where he's leading us, we're going to want to do a quick save before we go in there. Bobby. Okay, let's go ahead and do a quick save just in case we get bit. And then we're going to crouch. Now, just a heads up, I'm not going to use my Pip-Boy lamp in here because I want to try to be as stealthy as possible. See everybody on the other side of the door. All right, we're going to be really careful through here. If we get hit even once, we're going to get this disease. Take out the turrets. We have a Protectron that's patrolling over here towards us. We can take it out pretty easily. Fugitive. Hopefully everybody can see just fine. Over here, we're going to have another turret. Now, if you decide to hack this terminal and activate this Protectron, if a mole rat hits it, you will contract the disease. So keep that in mind. It sucks, but I guess that's the way Bethesda wanted to do it. I think it's a little lame. Come over here we're gonna run into a bunch of mole rats as soon as we get to the top of these stairs that is your best friend so use it wisely. I'm 
sure this whole thing is overblown and Austin will be running around tomorrow. Overblown or not, we have to do what we can for Austin. I just don't know what I can do. Neither do I, Priscilla. Why him? He's just a boy. He's going to be just fine. You'll see. Well, this is gonna be a joy for you. You get to nag me and I can't go anywhere. Oh, real nice, Holt. Make this about you. Don't you think about anyone other than yourself? Your daughter could get sick like Austin, and you're whining about spending time with your family? I have things to do. We don't have to hide away in here. You're so busy, Halt. You have so much to do. Please, explain to Aaron why your needs are more important than her safety. Just never mind. <sighs> idiot. You and your staff are to make sure every resident remains under stringent medical observation. Understood. But, Overseer... No buts. This is for the good of the Vault. We can't risk this pathogen spreading, Dr. Forsyth. Yes, Overseer. How is Austin doing? Not good. The infection has progressed quite rapidly. We need a way to stop it from spreading. Then let's hope that outsider pulls through and gets us a cure. So my advice to everybody is do a quick save right now. I'm going to do one, and that way if you get bit, you can go ahead and reload your save right here. Be very, very careful. They are all around here. That's very close. Very, very close. That's the hardest part of this area, is doing that portion. Okay, just making sure. I've actually gotten hit and still did not get the disease. So I'm getting lucky. And I just got the disease, I think. Yeah, we got the disease. Hold on. Let me check my pit boy statuses press r1 to show effect yeah mole rat disease so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do a reload i will see everybody in just a second all right let's go ahead and give this another try
just concentrating quite a bit right now. Sorry if I'm pretty quiet. Got to make sure that the mole rats aren't sneaking up behind us. One does like to sneak up behind us. I fucking hate this quest, man. It's so annoying. I think that's it. Not sure if there's any more mole rats, but hopefully there's not. Grab that mini nuke. I'm not sure if everybody could see that. Again, I apologize. I'm just trying to be as sneaky as possible. Grab the password. You can go in there for a little bit of lore on, again, the experiments that Vault 81 was doing on the other vault. Go ahead and go into this terminal after picking up the stim pack. And we have finally got through this quest. Thank God. Ugh. Oh, another stranger. Are you Vault Tech Security? I've waited so very patiently for you to arrive. Who the heck are you? I am a Contagion's Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer, or CVR-IE. The human scientists call me Curie, or more properly, they call me this when they were alive. I repeat, are you vault Security? These mole rats carry a disease. Do you know anything about it? My poor little darlings. They were used to grow all manner of new and interesting pathogens. Then Vault citizens would be exposed to these viruses in the hopes that they would develop new antibodies. But they never got a chance to execute their plan. Clyde got out of his cage. He was smarter than the others. My sweet Clyde. He let out the others and those poor scientists never stood a chance. Clyde's been dead for almost two centuries now, but his descendants have free run of the Vault. I'm rambling. Where are my manners? Are you vault -Tech Security? Yes. Yes, I am. Superb! I placed an emergency call so long ago. I was beginning to think something dreadful must have happened. I am pleased to report I completed my primary duties 83 years ago. Thousands of pathogens were grown in the mole rat hosts. Then, a single broad spectrum cure was developed to treat them all. Very satisfying work for many decades. Now, please tell me you are authorized to release me from the lab. Uh, I am so authorized. You are released. Superb. I had almost given up all hope of leaving here. I'll open the door for you. Since you are a vault representative, I entrust you with the broad spectrum cure I developed. If you have an equivalent to my digital Hippocratic Oath, please use it quickly to prevent any undue suffering. However, be advised. There is only one dose left, and I can no longer make any more. If that is all, I am most eager to leave. You only have one dose? That is correct. There used to be more, but they all expired. Sadly, the organic compounds necessary to make more have all deteriorated. 
You're just giving me the cure? My primary responsibility is to obey the orders of specified vault personnel, even if those orders violate my ethical matrix. But since you have graciously discharged me of this duty, I can give you the cure without directly disobeying my previous order. And if you happen to use the cure to save a life, then this is just a happy coincidence, no? Hopefully now I can properly further my scientific research. Since my job here is done, I think I will follow you out. Kiri is a pretty cool companion. She's actually got a whole quest line to herself. Let's go ahead and grab the medicine bobblehead. Yes. One of my favorite bobbleheads to get because we get a uh, permanent... Uh, hold on. <laughs> Sorry, I cannot talk today. I am fumbling my words all over the place. Stim packs will permanently heal you for 10% more damage. Huh. <sighs> Good lordy. One day I'll get it together, everybody. One day I will. I promise. Grab these bobby pins. Again, some more lore if you want to read a little bit about Kiri and her backstory. Now we're going to come over here to this elevator. We can turn this bit boy off. We don't need it. We must consult the professors at the university. They could provide many answers. We're going to go into this terminal and open up that door. The work never ends in Vault 81. Looking for a meal? See Maria. She runs the Sunshine Diner in the age. It is stimulating traveling with you. Dr. Penske runs a hydroponics lab here. She may have some work for you if you're interested. I'm gonna go down to the clinic. The cure, hey, where are you going? Austin needs that cure. Sorry. Excuse me, Dr. Forsyth. So have you decided to turn over the cure? How is Austin doing? Do you think he'll survive the cure? He's been unconscious since shortly after you left. Here, take the cure and use it on the boy. Only one dose? I hope this works. If it doesn't, there won't be anything to analyze to try again. Let's hope this works. I heard you had returned. It shouldn't be long. What? Where, where am I? You're Thank in God. the clinic. You were really sick, Austin. Our visitor from the Commonwealth saved your life. Really? Gee, thanks, mister. I was worried to death about you, Austin. What got into your fool head? Going into a place like that. Nothing exciting ever happens here. I just wanted to see what was in there. Well, if it hadn't been for our friend here, you might have died. Thank you. I know you made sacrifices to help him. I know Dr. Pinsky will be grateful. For my part, I'd like to give you the syringe. I had it for years and never really had a use for it. She's not the only one. The whole vault is thankful. I'd like to give you a room here in the vault. A place you can call your own. It's in the main hall. On the left as you get off the elevator. Once again, thank you. Can I, go I hope you enjoy your accommodation. I wanted to say thank you again for what you did for Austin. You've opened a lot of eyes around here, including my own. I had no idea of the dangers vault Tech had hidden away so close to home. I can't believe so many died just behind our walls. What do you know about vault Tech? I'm afraid not much. I've spent my entire life being thankful for the vault, for the walls that protected us over two centuries. 
But not once have I had contact with them. Whatever Voltec had planned, it failed and took their entire staff out with it. No arguments here. I hate to think of what they had planned for us. But on the good side, you made a real impression on our anti-commonwealth people. They're realizing outsiders really can be trusted, and do more good than just providing resources. You'll always be welcome here, and I hope you make a habit of visiting. Having a trusted outsider would help serve as a reminder that the commonwealth isn't something to fear and avoid. A moment, please. I have been trapped so many years. I believe it's customary to thank you for your role in saving me. My entire life has been in this vault. I have analyzed and learned everything there is to know here. So now I must see the rest of the Commonwealth. Consult with scientists, unearth more data to challenge my hypothesis. What are you looking to learn up there? Down here is an enclosed system. And without the introduction of new mutagens, viruses or bacteria, it is quite dull, medically speaking. The world up there is infinitely more complex. Who knows what diseases can be found and studied? It sounds like the vault could really use you. Of this, there is no doubt. But I seek to elevate my capabilities, and down here I will stagnate. Please, monsieur, can you take me with you? It's no picnic up there. Anything you can do to help us survive? But of course. I have been equipped with medical equipment. If you become injured in our journeys, I can administer steam packs. I also have defensive capabilities, a laser. But surely there's little reason to use that. Come along then. Excellent. We must embark at once. Ah, the dangers of curiosity. Lucky for Austin, he does appear to have nine lives. Indeedy. Indeed he does. We're going to exit the vault and then we're going to end the video. By the way, I'm trying to remember where. I think it's right here. Austin sure recovered fast, thanks to you. Yes, this is our personal room. Right here, if you want to use this for anything. Go ahead and go up the elevator. Whoa, Kiri. It was kind of uh, all of a sudden, wasn't it? Thank God Ashes is back. Aaron is crazy about that cat. You're a brave woman. I wish we could say we handled it ourselves, but no doubt you've got it. Okay, we're going to come up here. And then right here is where we're going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean the world to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.